Hi folks, John with the Wingman 115 channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. Out here, a little bit different setting. We're out here uh, doing like a just day camp. We're playing with knives, playing with some archery stuff, just having a good time, me and the guys. And I thought that this would be the perfect setting to do this showcase on a knife uh, that has a really cool story to it. Now, the knife that I'm gonna be showcasing today is a knife from JOA Knives. And that gentleman is a 15 year old young man who runs a YouTube channel called Jeps Outdoor Adventures. He's been following along on the channel for a while and he lives up in Idaho. So as a young man, um, he's been hunting and fishing with his dad pretty much his whole life. And through those experiences of living in Idaho, hunting and fishing, doing all the stuff that just more young people should do, uh, he has developed this ability to design knives. So he's partnered up with Blind Horse Knives and he's come out with his own knife line. And I thought that I would share that with you folks because this community is all about uh, bringing up the youth and if we're gonna want this to uh, go on for future generations. So the knife that we're gonna be showcasing today is what he calls the Vente Venate. And this just awesome looking blade. You guys know that I love recurve blades. So um, what we're gonna do today, I thought in honor of Moores Kazansky who passed away just a little while ago, I thought we would get away from like the traditional knife video where I'm out hacking, slashing, cutting, doing all this crazy stuff. And that we would do what Moore's called uh, a skills test with a blade. And I brought a piece of dowel that I normally take to rendezvous. And we do competitions at these rendezvous where we do tri sticks. So I thought for this review, I would partner up this blade and do an attempt on a tri stick for you folks. But first, what I'm gonna do is cut away. We'll do a quick specs rundown of this knife. I'll show you up close and personal, uh, the ins and outs of this blade, and then we'll come back and I'll show you my tri stick and then we'll talk about this knife. Folks, it doesn't get any better than this. We're out here in the woods, I'm with my friends, we're in a day camp, you're with me. The video starts now. First off, let's test the uh, spine on this because it has a very sharp 90 degree spine. And it does not disappoint. Very good. So I'm gonna cut away and I'm gonna attempt to work on this tri stick for a little bit. Then I'll come back after I get a few uh, of uh, the skills tests done and we'll talk about it. Right off the bat, not bad. <laughs> Jaime's in the back singing a song that we follow along on the Junkyard Fox channel and he did a post earlier today 
with a song from either the late 60s or early 70s and the song's just stuck in our head all day so we've all been either humming it or singing along just crazy the impact of social media has So just a quick, hasty trigger hook. Next one is gonna be like a hook if you're picking up a pot off a of fire. So I usually start by doing an X pattern. on the stick. And then I'll start my my cuts. So in an effort for time, I'll be doing like progress shots for you folks because you don't want to see me for an hour straight making a tri stick but I'll do a little bit then I'll cut away but you can really tell a lot about a knife and the knife characteristics just by doing one of these tri sticks doing the final touches on this one piece right here Clean it up just a little bit, but as you can see, makes a nice little pot hook. Next, what I'm gonna do is take about an inch. I'm just gonna do the center, and I'm gonna thin this out, and then I'm gonna put like a small thinned out dowel rod in the center of this. So what I'm attempting to do by doing that is one, get a better understanding of the handle and my hand placement on the different grip aspects of this handle. And you're really gonna know the characteristics of a knife. And for me, the most important aspect of any knife is not the actual cutting uh, side of the blade, it's the handle. If it doesn't feel good in your hand, then you're not gonna use it. And ultimately, as much as we'd like to collect knives and use knives, they are a tool, they are an implement to get something done. Camp craft or your uh, harvesting animals, fish, game, whatever. So let me cut away and I'll start on doing that uh, dowel and then we'll come back with uh, some final thoughts. So just a quick little update, just doing some cleanup cuts. And then I'll use the uh, 90 degree spine to kind of smooth everything out a little bit. But, let's see. But it's cleaned up really nice. So let's cut away and let's talk about this knife. 
Now for some final thoughts on the JOA Knives Vente Venate. First off, let's just run down through the specs. Four and three quarter inch length on the blade, five and a quarter inch on the handle. Now, as I was doing the tri-stick, I was talking about a knife as a tool. And as a tool, it has to be functional and it has to feel good in order for you to utilize the best attributes of that knife. So the handle for me is more important than anything else on the knife. You can have knives that just look aesthetically pleasing, but if they don't feel good in the hand, one, you're not gonna use them, and two, you're not gonna be able to use it at its full potential. That's why like doing this tri-stick really is gonna bring out the characteristics, one, of the cutting edge of that blade, and two, the most important in my opinion, is the functionality and the use of the handle. Now, as I went through the five different uh, items on this tri-stick, and a typical tri-stick has like eight, but for the sake of time, for you folks out there, I didn't want to bore you with all the ones. But um, I must say that I really like the handle. Jep, you did an awesome job in the design of this handle. It has just a minute uh, palm swell in there, kind of like that Coke bottle design. And it has a little bit of uh, a broomstick style with a nice little sweep in the forward part of the handle. They're scalloped out. It felt really good in the hand. And um, it just worked really well. You have multiple grips. I'm doing the push cuts. I'm doing chisel cuts. I'm doing all sorts of different slicing and scraping. And sometimes my hand will get cramped up and fatigued. And I've been playing around with this now a good solid hour. Have no hand cramping, no fatigue. And that is just a testament to a good design. So Jeff, you did an awesome job on this handle. Now, you guys know if you follow along on the channel that I love recurve blades. Well, this has just enough sweep in it. And you're gonna ask yourself, John, what is the functionality of a recurve blade? Well, I'm glad you asked. It makes really good slicers. Uh, if you're in the bushcrafting, which I'm assuming that Jep is because this is more of a bushcrafter-esque design of a blade with a flat grind and such. It's good for doing uh, feather sticks, doing the curls, doing all the bushcrafty style um, crafts and jobs. I'm not a bushcrafter, I don't claim to be, but I love that genre and I love that art of the people that can make the bowls and the spoons and traps and all that stuff that goes into it. It's just awesome. 90 degree spine worked really well. The jimping on here is just enough to where you get a really good grip and purchase on this blade, but not to where it's just gonna dig into your thumb and it's gonna wind up hurting you. The pommel has a 90 degree spine on the pommel as well. So for you bushcrafters out there that like doing those projects and the camp craft stuff, you're making spoons, you're making bowls, you're gonna be able to get in there and um, sand it, clean it up a little bit with that nice sharp 90 degree spine. Jep, you are on your way, I'm telling you, to be an awesome knife designer. Great job. I'll leave uh, links in the video description down below if you wanna learn more about this blade. And with that, folks, it's a wrap. I'll uh, leave it at that and we'll see you on the next video. Take care, folks.